Anyway, with no more ado, I think we're ready to go with the working group. So please welcome in our best of breed winners from the working group, led in by the Alaskan Malamute. The Bernese Mountain Dog. The Bouvier de Flandre. The Boxer. The Bull Mastiff. The Canadian Eskimo Dog. The Doberman. The Dog de Bordeaux. The German Pincher. And the Giant Schnauzer. The Great Dane. The Greenland Dog, the Hoverbot, the Mastiff, the Newfoundland, the Neapolitan Mastiff, the Leonberger. The Portuguese water dog. The Rottweiler. The St. Bernard. And the Siberian Husky. The Tibetan Mastiff comes next. And that makes up our group contenders. And now to introduce the man who's going to judge the working group at Darlington, Dr. Ron James. And after a first walk round to take in the outlines and balance of the dogs, Dr. James goes to the first best of breed winner, the Alaskan Malamute. There were 52 of them here today for Jill Peak, and she chose this dog, 2483, as best of breed. The heaviest of the sled dogs and bred for pulling heavy loads over long distances. So a lot of substance and strength. Absolutely functional with a weatherproof coat to protect it. Strong head, pricked ears, and there goes our Alaskan Malamute. This is Liz Cartledge, judged 81 Bernese Mountain Dogs. Her winner was a dog, 2582. This is a native breed of Switzerland, developed in the canton of Bern, and they were used as general farm dogs, often pulling the milk carts, and used as a guard dog, but they make wonderful companions. This rich tricolour, is the only breed, the only colour in which we see the breed. The Bernese Mountain Dog. Now forward the Bouvier de Flans, a, a, another breed judged by Jill Peak. Five of them here today. A winner was this dog, 2613. This is a cattle herder originally in the Belgium and the Netherlands, but he's proved his versatility in the forces as a tracking dog, a guard dog, 
hugely versatile. That thick matte coat giving protection. Slight slope from withers to tail set. And onto the boxer. Simon looks more. Judge an entry of 34. No CCs on offer today for the boxers. His choice for best of breed was the dog number 2616. A native of Germany. And of course, hugely popular not only in the show ring but as a family pet and as a working dog. He's a great tracker, guard dog. One of the bull breeds seen in his head proportions and strength, the boxer. Our judge now looking at the bull mastiff, an entry of 24 for specialist Mrs. Fitzgibbon. She chose the dog number 2660 as best of breed. Originally, a guard dog for gamekeepers to ward off potential poachers. So they combine strength with athleticism. Our judge now looking at the Canadian Eskimo dog. One from a good entry of 10, and the winner was the dog number 2676. Lighter in build than the Alaskan Malamute, but another sled dog and functionally built and functionally coated. This Doberman has sent me, been sent forward by Simon Luxmore from an entry of 26. The winner is a bitch, number 2699. Another native breed of Germany. Herr Doberman founded the breed as a guard dog. Squarely built, clean lined. Our judge now looking at the dog de Bordeaux. A very good entry of 58 here today for Mr. Baldwin. And he has chosen the dog number 2720. A native of France. And we'll see the typically low head carriage, which is desired and typical of the breed. A cousin of the bull mastiff. Lower on the leg, the winning Dog de Bordeaux. We saw the Doberman Pinscher, just a couple of dogs before this. Now we have the German Pinscher from the same family and descendants. Three of them here today for Barry Croft. He chose this bitch, number 2769, as best to breed. Another one which is squarely built, clean lined, wedge shaped head, neatly folded ears. There's our German Pinscher. And a very nice entry of giant schnauzers today for Mr. Fletcher. From an entry of 31, he chose this dog, number 2778, as best of breed. The giant schnauzer. Another German breed, squarely built, hard coated, with a clean, long head, strong jaw, and his harsh, wiry coat over the body and down the legs. A 
very nice entry of great names today. 89 for Alan Mees, and he chose the bitch number 2830 as best of breed. This is a harlequin which poses extra challenge for breeders. Not only are they looking for breed type, but also having to get correct colours. The harlequin has a clear white background with torn patches of black or blue. There is the winning Great Dane, the bitch number 2830. And another of the sled dogs for now. This is the Greenland dog, six of them here for Mrs. Fitzgibbon. She chose the dog number 2897. This is a middle size of the sled dogs. This plumed furred tail, which they all have, is very functional. When they curl up and go to sleep in the extremes of climate, the tail can be used to wrap around the dog to give some warmth and protection. The winning Greenland dog, number 2897. The Hovervart, now being examined. One best of breed from an entry of 12. This is a bitch, number 2912. The Hovervart, a general purpose farm dog from Germany. Here, here we The black and gold Hovervart. Now the Mastiff, a breed which, with which our judge is very familiar. Mrs. Cook, breed specialist, judge 23 of them. Her winner was the bitch number 2974. Again, this was a dog bred to guard off poachers. Longer than the bull mastiff and different in its head proportions. And now the Newfoundland from an entry of 76 for Mr. Carr. The winner was this bitch, number 3045. This white and black, known as Lancia markings. Another challenge for the breeders to get size, substance and soundness, but also correctness of markings. A black head and black body patches, the traditional, on a clear white background. Now, 22 Neapolitan Mastiffs here today. A good entry for a breed which is developing in this country. For Steve Hall, he chose the bitch number 3002 as best of breed. Going back to ancient Rome, these, this was the breed which led the legions of the Roman army into battle, often wearing spiked collars. And their forbidding appearance, strong heads, are supposed to put fear into the enemy. The winning Neapolitan Mastiff 3002. Forty-five Leonbergers here today for Liz Carpledge. Her winner was the dog number two nine two six. Another German breed, originating from the crossing of a Saint Bernard and a Newfoundland. 
the town of Leonberg in Germany, still has the profile of the dog on the coat of arms for the town. Lion-like in its colours, gold and red, often with a black overlay. Now the Portuguese water dog. Kevin Young judged the breed and chose this dog. Number 3085 as best of breed. His name tells you his origin and the purpose for which he was bred. He used to help um, the fishermen bring in the nets on the boats. Underneath that body, there should be a sturdy, substantial dog, a strong head. The clip is functional. Buoyancy coming from the mane of hair at the front of the dog. Eighty-eight Rottweilers here today for breed specialist Mr. Keenan. He chose the dog three one five one as best of breed. Hugely versatile as guard dog, working with the forces, working with the police. Strong, sturdy, and specific black and tan markings. Ten Russian black terriers here today for Kevin Young. I'll let you know the number when I have it. Relatively modern breed developed in, during the First World War by Russians to track down deserters and fugitives. It's thought that they have some German schnauzer, some Airedale Terrier in their makeup. Hugely substantial in bone and body and a strong head. 3190 is the Russian black number. And now the St. Bernard. Nine of them here for Mr. Atkinson. He chose the dog number 3195 as best of breed. Bred as a rescue dog by the monks of the St. Vern Pass. The breed comes in the long haired variety and the smooth coat, you see. And now the Siberian Husky, 61 of them here for Kevin Young. His winner was the dog number 3223. The lightest of the sled dogs, built for speed and stamina. Good length of leg. And again, that third functional tail and a weatherproof off-standing harsh outer coat and protective undercoat. And finally the Tibetan Mastiff. Pamela Jeans Brown, judge 22 of them today. She chose this dog, number 3267.
strongly built, the Tibetan Mastiff, with this strong head, this high set tail carried over the back, a forbidding expression, a neat fold to the ears. a look round before we shortlist. In comes the Bernese Mountain Dog, the Bouvier, the Bull Mastiff, the Doberman, the Giant Schnauzer and the Harlequin Great Dane. Coming in is the Portuguese Water Dog, and the Siberian Husky. And there we have our shortlist. Well done to the others leaving the ring now. Eight shortlisted here. And I think we might uh, see them move before we have our decision. Time to show the run they go. There's the Bernese leading them right to the top of the ring. The Bouvier. The Bull Mastiff, Doberman, the Giant Schnauzer, Great Dane, Portuguese Water Dog of the Siberian Husky. Eight of them here. And apart from the four place dogs, we have an innovation, Darlington, this year, that the, those not placed in the lineup will get a commemorative ribbon for being a, a group finalist. But there is the Bernese Mountain Dog, out and back and round she, he goes, showing off profile movement and top line. There goes the Bouvier. The Doberman bitch. And the giant schnauzer. The Dash and Dare of the Great Dane. Siberian Husky. And the only lady handler left in the group now. And a very strong lineup for this working group. D. 
deep in thought. The boards have been called for. The winner of the working group is the Bernese Mountain Dog. In second place, the Bull Mastiff. Third is the Doberman. And for fourth spot, the Portuguese Water Dog. And the, as you leave, please, the other four will get a commemorative ribbon for being a group finalist. And off we go, a lap of honour for the working group winner, the the Bernese Mountain Dogs.